Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hey everyone, dug this up from some person's house, brought it to my house, and the year after, it mutated into a plum tree. It's an almond tree. Isn't it beautiful? I love flowers, especially flowering trees. The smell is so sweet and fragrant. I'm not kidding, guys. Check it out, the plum tree. Fruit grows from it, real plums and it mutated into a plum tree. It can happen. Uh, you could sometimes when you move them from place to place, apple trees can become pear trees, cherry trees, apricot trees. It's amazing. A 20 minute time lapse seen in 25 seconds. Look at all the beautiful bees, different types of bees pollinating the plum tree. A completely different flower came from the tree. That's the most amazing thing. You plant it in different earth, a bit further away from where it's born in the ground, and they can change. And that's probably thanks to those wonderful bees that you see there. I took the entire countryside here, three years, in high dynamic range. Beautiful storybook setting. So this is Venus out of focus, but don't feel bad if you get Venus always out of focus, like I've always done. Um, it depends on what camera you have. The P900, uh, yeah, not easy, near impossible to get it. You have to use a trick with getting the AF off, the autofocus off, and by using a lighter. Well, watch this. For whatever the reason, my finger only in front of Venus I could see the radiation coming off of my hands, probably because I worked in a lead plant, whatever. Pretty cool, trippy. We're gonna keep looking at it, but what it's gonna do is it's going to actually shift the camera in focus because I'm actually looking at Venus for the first time with the camera with the sun still out. And when I say sun is out, I'll show you the big bright red sun, orange sun setting at the same time as I'm getting this, but it, permitted me to put the photo, um, the uh, Venus, planet Venus, in focus while the autofocus was still on. So that means I did not have to put it in manual mode and then turn the dial on manual mode until it's in focus, which is a very long process. Then after that, you have to use your lighter. Screw that trick. Check this out. So Venus is still out of focus, but look at the radiation from my hands. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it only shows up when it's on in front of Venus. Well, this is not an infrared camera. This is just the P900, guys. <laughs> that is beyond trippy. Okay, so the radiation we see on Venus, that usually means maybe it's heat. Of course, right? Heat in the universe or around Venus that we can see. Maybe Venus is heating up too. But look at my finger. This is beyond trippy. I don't know why I'm radiating like that. Anyways, check this out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, the AF is on. This is on autofocus with the P900. For the first time, it's literally impossible to get Venus with the P900. And if you do, well, good for you guys. But I was never able to. You, There's a good video online with thousands of views. To, uh, to get it, you need a lighter. But the sun was out. Check it out while I was getting Venus. I'm not kidding. The sun was out. So the light used, like the lighter, I was able to get the light right away. And by for whatever the reason, I was putting my hand in front of Venus and I was getting those, the flaring, the heat from my hand or something. I'm a hot guy, you know. Doesn't seem like much. It's just Venus. I get it. But with the P900, Honestly, I'm not going to hide it. It's very hard to get. Uh, they even say that you can't get it uh, online, and it's true. By chance, I was able to get it. 
uh, I'm telling you, it's because of also the sun and whatever I was doing with my hand in front of the camera, which I now know that I radiate some type of power. So be careful, astrophotography, ace of space. I'm powerful. <laughs> okay, come on. I got to have some fun all by myself here in my lab. I love doing this, guys. I ain't going to stop. All summer, I'm going to get some stuff for you guys. I have another UFO video coming up. Got some cool UFOs yesterday. And a comparison with um, a camera filming a UFO. At the same time, I ran in and got my regular camera while the, the infrared was filming it. So here is straight up zoom in out of focus Venus. So you'd think that is in focus, right? Because planets are round, but you have a Terminator line. That's what we just saw. Did you just see that Venus was out of focus and then in focus? You have to film Venus during the day. So we're in the middle of the day right now and the sun's out. That's the pretty cool part. The exposure's just taken down. Watch this again. Here it is, out of focus, and then boom, into focus. Exposure taken down. Beautiful shot of Venus during the day. Do you understand? I'm not on manual focus. You don't have to zoom it in manually 30, 40, 50, 60 times until it's in focus. You just keep it on autofocus and then you film it during the day or with the sun underneath it. Literally, the sun is underneath that. Keeping it in autofocus to be able to do the, do it, it's, it's fast. It's boom, goes right into focus, which honestly was luck because it is not easy to do. I tried to redo it again afterwards and yeah, I, I was able to uh, do it, no problem. Some people do it with a lighter, but you have to do it on manual focus and then you have to go take off the autofocus while b then you add the lighter. It's too complicated. This is straight up on autofocus and I didn't have to do any tampering with it. And guess what? It gives me all that zoom power because on the manual focus, uh, the guy does it on the video, he's all, all the way in and he's not very close, but now it's in focus, so you have that 2,000 millimeters of zoom capacity with the moon in focus, uh, with uh, Venus in focus. So let's try it again, let's zoom out. Look, it's literally sun setting. Now it's getting lower, but it's still out, lots of light. We're gonna zoom in to see, still on autofocus, not manual mode, and boom, it's still in focus. That's pretty cool. Either I broke the camera in a good way, or I'm just lucky to have gotten it while the sun was out. Give it a try, guys and gals. While the sun's out, um, film Venus. And before uh, pressing record, you're going to try to play with the shutter to try to get it uh, in focus. And by pressing record, it worked for me. Thanks for watching, everyone.